Our ever amazing White House press secretary, Kaylee McEnany, does it again. She smacks down a beta male. She ends this man's career, and it is a beautiful thing to watch her destroy these people with such ease. I continue to hear how we're all about women empowerment, respecting women, and celebrating strong women voices. I don't really see any of the people that are claiming that ever celebrating Kaylee and how awesome she is. And she's been around for a while. She used to be a panelist on CNN back when they were just trashing Trump every day. She was the only voice of reason. She was the only one there that was actually willing to stand up for the truth and talk about the actual facts and call out the hypocrisy. And here today, we have this pathetic beta sitting there with his mask on, looking like a pathetic beta. And listen to this question and watch Kaylee absolutely destroy him. Then why did the president have thousands of people, many not wearing masks at a, at a rally last night in, you know, in, in a state that has limited outdoor gatherings to 50 people? Why is he going to Nevada this, this weekend to hold similar outdoor rallies, uh, gathering these large numbers of, uh, of people in violation of his administration's own guidance and of the best advice and guidance of local officials who he has said should have the final say in these matters? People have a First Amendment right, if they so choose, to show up and express their political opinion in the form of a peaceful protest, which is what um, the president held. And there's a real double standard here. CNN had on a guest, uh, apparently a doctor, uh, Rob Davidson who said, now true, there are social distancing issues with regard to the protests we've seen around the country. However, this is a public health crisis. They are marching against systemic racism. So if you're allowed to march in aggregate um, in those protests, you are also allowed to show up at a political rally. You have a First Amendment right in this country. Love it, love it, love it. And that is the point here. You can get protesters to go and loot buildings and destroy cities and be violent and threaten people and not wear a mask and the media has no problem with that whatsoever because they're speaking out against racial injustice yet you have a bunch of law-abiding citizens getting together to support the president of the united states of america and the media suddenly has a problem with that this is what we're dealing with every day. When Donald Trump says the media is the enemy of the people, he is 100% right. They are the enemy of the people. They are the enemy of everyone. They're not just the enemy of Trump supporters and Trump. They are the enemy of everyone. They do not care about you. They only care about controlling you. And when they cannot control you, they will try to paint you as a horrible person and they will try to make you out to be some dangerous lunatic that needs to be called out. And that is why they hate Trump supporters. They can't control Trump supporters because Trump supporters are not dumb. They're not falling for the narrative. They see through the BS. This is why they hate when Trump gets up on the stage and calls them out and says they're the enemy of the people they literally are there is no disputing this how can anyone argue for the media the media is corrupt the media is the enemy of the people kaylee destroyed them like she does every day she ended this man's career this man should not be allowed to have another question uh, in the White House press secretary briefing room at all. He should never be allowed to speak again because he is that much of a beta. He is that much of a bitch. And he just got smacked around by her in the most beautiful way. We're going to continue to see this. This is not going to stop. This is only going to get worse. These mindless drones will continue to push these talking points because Trump supporters are bad. Violent protesters and looters are good. That is how the mainstream talking points are. So he even if you're following the rules, even if you're following the law, if you're getting together to support the president, you are a bad person. But if you're in the streets violently protesting, uh, you know, fiery but mostly peaceful, if you're in the streets destroying property, destroying neighborhoods, uh, and being violent against anybody and everybody that disagrees with you, that's perfectly okay by the CNN mainstream media standard. But you can't support your president. That is bad right there. These people are ridiculous. Masks have been politicized. 
All of this stuff has been politicized right now. There is no truth when it comes to the mainstream. Thank goodness we have Kaylee McEnany. Thank goodness we have President Trump. Thank goodness we have the Trump administration to destroy this narrative. It is a beautiful thing to witness. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you're out there letting your voices be heard because right now we are closing in on November and it's only going to get worse. Let people know that you love your president. Let people know that you are for Trump. You are for freedom. You are for America because that's exactly what I'm going to do. Don't let them weaponize your political opinions because that is why I decided to speak out as a Trump supporter because they were weaponizing political opinions. And I was like, okay, for, I was quiet for a while after voted for Trump in 2016. And I saw that they were weaponizing political opinions. And I'm like, I'm not going to let you weaponize my political opinion. I'll just be who I am and speak up and be proud of being a Trump supporter. I'm not going to let you weaponize my opinion. Fuck you and your feelings. I love Donald Trump. I love this president. I love everything he stands for. I love that he does not give a fuck. I love that his balls are grapefruit, literal grapefruits, and he just does not care about your feelings. All he cares about is making the country better and standing against the bullshit narratives. That is what I love about the president of the United States. You guys have a great day, and we will talk to you later.